hello friends welcome to my youtube channels and today's uh, we are going to create a tml server which has multiple data directory in a data files okay in last video uh, we created a tml server which name is tml learning okay so uh, currently tml services is off so first we have to restart it uh, means uh, start it okay so what how we can start it uh, first you you go to on uh, start button and uh, search it ibm cognos configuration currently i have opened cognos configuration so you can you can start it uh, just uh, right click on it and uh, click on start okay when you click on start your t1 services will be start okay but i think it will not start okay why because before you uh, need to before you starting t1 server you need to start your admin server because every t1 server registered itself to the admin server and uh, admin server right i hope it's a starting t1 server let's see t1 service is started or not let me go on architect okay it is started i think it uh, automatically uh, started when we click on it yeah either we can do it the first we start tmn admin server then we start tmn learning either we can just click on right click on it and start and we can stop it just click on stop button and second is you search services and click on it here and maximize it just click on it uh, and search a uh, type ibm and here you can see your t1 server and click on it stop and start if you are first uh, you just click on start and it will start your t1 ser server okay so here you see your services are learned, running okay so today we are going to create a tmn server which has multiple data directory and data files mm, so first i think i will create in uh, same tmn server so, so that i am going to stop it stopping uh, in meanwhile i will go to the where is my uh, file tmn server here is my tmn server data files all the uh, control cubes and dimensions are resides in the uh, data files and all the data and feeders so first i am going to delete all and in here i will create two two folder first i will create a tm1 dims in this folder all tm1 uh, dimension file will be reside and second is tm1 cubes in this all the cubes and rule file will be resides okay i have created it i need to make some changes in a cfg file so i am going to click on it and here i will copy this address and paste it here and uh and semicolon and second folder is 
21 cubes as many as you have a folder you need to separate it by semicolon and uh, here create it so uh, currently i am going to create two fo two folder two directory in a data database directory okay first is uh, tm1 dims and second tm1 cubes okay and in log files already you know uh, in log files all the logging file will be this side this my tm one uh, server name in port and this all okay i am click on save button is save and now i am go to here current you can see it is stop so i am going to right click on it and click on start tm services are running and i go here you will see a t1 event file if you click on it you will see here my t1 services start started in just four seconds okay and t1s file will be created when you start it while t1 service running you you cannot open the t1s file and in t1s file your all a transaction uh, transaction log will be decided uh, which uh, user uh, made changes in a uh, cubes all the transaction log will be decided in tmns file and we can also uh, back, back out the uh, log data using tmns which will be uh, learned in uh, in some videos further and the tm1 server in tm1 server you can see here you can also see uh, in three second your tm1 service is ready and here you see uh, in tm1 server you can see uh, your uh, tm1 process how much time they take in your process to run process to run and many more you can see in formation tm1 server which will be learned in, uh, in further video okay first you come on data files here here you will see tm1 dims all the files reside in tm1 dims and tm1 cubes okay so uh, we have created a tm1 server which has multiple data data directory just refresh it uh, login again uh, and uh, when you create a new tm1 server it's a div uh, it default tm1 id is admin and password is blank and uh, in next videos uh, i will show you how you can create uh, uh, your id and password in tm1 okay so uh, if you like like this video please subscribe and share thank you